Today we're working with Oracle Cloud's free tier and we are setting up Hestia's control panel. So I really like this control panel. This time we're gonna be using Cloudflare for our content delivery network and our DNS. So there's a few extra steps, a few extra commands, but don't worry, all the commands are over on my blog, ideaspot.com.au, so you can just copy and paste as we run through this tutorial. Um, about three weeks ago, I did a very similar tutorial on um, Hestia with Oracle. This time I'm using Cloudflare, but that time I just used Namecheap. So this one is probably similar, but I recommend watching this one as well because I show the detailed steps in setting up the email. So I've got email working here through Cloudflare, um, but I'm using a SMTP relay. So I'm using Send in Blue. The other one that's good is Mailjet, but uh, I really like Send in Blue. So um, if you want to check out the exact steps for setting up Send in Blue, then check out that previous video. But anyway, this is all working very well. So um, if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, first thing we'll do from our Oracle Cloud dashboard, you can see I'm using a free tier account here on Oracle Cloud. We're gonna create a VM instance from our dashboard. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it uh, Hestia Cloudflare, so Hestia CF for this demonstration. You can name it whatever you want, obviously. Change our image to Ubuntu 20.04, so change the image there. And we choose canonical Ubuntu right there, select that one. And the default shape is the AMD Micro. It'll work just fine on AMD Micro, but the better one to choose here is Ampere. Um, Ampere, you can actually increase the RAM and the processors. So select that one. You can actually increase this one here up to four CPUs and uh, 24 gigabytes of RAM. I don't need that much for this demo. I'm just gonna use the one CPU for this demonstration. If you're having trouble actually getting four CPUs, sometimes they're out of capacity, just try one. I'm gonna try one today. Um, select that in. So I've got uh, the standard A1 Flex with Ampere, Canonical Ubuntu. The other thing you can do if you um, uh, find yourself out of capacity, you can actually change your um, region sometimes because I've got, um, I'm using Phoenix as my region. There's one, two, and three you can choose from here. I'll try with number one at the moment and see if I can get that um, to load up. Next thing we need is a SSH key. You can paste um, an SSH key in here. I like to use PuTTY to do my SSH keys. So in Windows, you can use PuTTY Gen that comes with PuTTY and you can create a key just by hovering your mouse um, in that gray space there. That creates an SSH key. We can go ahead and save that key. So we can save that key as, oh, we don't need a password. You can add a password if you like, but if you're on a private computer, you don't really need one. So I'll call that idea spot for my private key and I'll just call my idea spot pub, idea spot pub for the public key there. So those are saved. I can just go ahead and copy this key. Make sure you highlight it all and copy it into our um, Oracle Cloud dashboard here. So paste that in where it says SSH keys, paste public keys. So that looks all good. And we can go ahead and create this server now. So right now it'll say orange, it's provisioning. Um, we have to wait for our IP address to be provided. So just be patient here. And then after a little while, this is gonna be green. But the first thing we want is our IP address. So after a few seconds, we'll get our public IP address. We're gonna use this and we're gonna point our DNS in Cloudflare over to it. So I've got my site already added to Cloudflare. I'm gonna use IdeaSpot site for this demo here. Um, you can add a site to Cloudflare if you like. Um, that's fairly straightforward, but I've already got this one added here. We're gonna head over to DNS and we're gonna start adding some records in. So for the first one we're gonna use is at for root and I'm gonna paste that IP address in there. Now we can actually leave that one proxied and we're gonna add another one as well for CNAME. Um, there we go, and that's www, idea spot site, idea spot site, cool. And then we want one for our Hestia control panel, so HCP I'm gonna use, you can use whatever you like, just make sure you keep track of what you're using for your control panel, I'll use HCP for today, and that looks good. And then we need some mail records here, so I'm gonna call this mail um, on the A record there, another one for webmail, again on our A record, that's a type A. And there we go. We also need a MX record. So MX record, and that's gonna be at for root, and that goes through to mail idea spot site. So whatever your domain is, put mail at the front and, and dot. So you've got a mail subdomain there. Um, priority is gonna be 10. So that looks all good. Now with our mail and web mail, we can't actually proxy those A records on Cloudflare's pre-plan. So we actually have to change these to just be DNS only. So change those to DNS only for mail and for web mail. That looks all good. All right, so that'll be enough for now. We can go ahead and start connecting to our instance. I think this um, 
instance is up and running. Sure enough, it is green now. So we can actually take this IP address and we can connect to our, our new instance. So using putty here, our username is going to be Ubuntu at our IP address. That's the IP address there. I'm going to save this as um, Hestia uh, CF. There we go. And we're going to need that SSH key that we generated earlier. So go to SSH there and auth and let's go ahead and find that key that we made. There we go. Um, and we can go back to session and let's just save that on. Awesome. Now we should be able to go ahead and open this session. Click yes there. And we are connecting to our new VPS. There we go. So all the install commands, you'll find them over on my Ideaspot blog. I'll put the link in the description there, but ideaspot.com AU, you can head over there and the commands to install uh, our Hestia panel are right here. So first thing we do is uh, change to sudo. There we go. And then we get our install script. Paste that in there. You can right click to paste things into putty. So there's our install script is ready. Now the next bit you'll need to customize a bit. I'll zoom in a bit so it's a bit more obvious here. So the next bit is the actual install. So you need to change the email address and change this example password to something for yourself and put in your own domain name here with the subdomain that you've chosen for Hestia's control panel. So I've using using HCP. So the actual command I'm gonna to run today is my own email at gmail.com, idspot class and password and HCP idspot site for my domain there. So that's the command I'm gonna use in putty right now. Paste that in with right click. And this will take about 10, 15 minutes. So it's gonna um, wait for a minute, but yeah, just be patient. I might actually just skip ahead because it doesn't require any input after you've pasted that in. It's gonna install Hestia. So let's just come back in just a second. You'll actually get a message there that says it takes 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, just be patient, obviously. All right, so that looks like it's finished up okay. It does say you must restart the system before continuing. Um, what we might do before we do the reboot is we can actually add the Cloudflare certificate authority as well. So I'm just gonna W get that um, Cloudflare file here. So again, that's all on my blog. And we're just gonna rename that because it's a PEM file at the moment. We want to rename it as a CRT uh, certificate. And then all we do is move that to our certificates folder with that command there. And then we update our uh, certificate authority certificates. So this should, yeah, we've got one added certificate. So that looks all good. Now we can actually reboot. So just type reboot in here and that should be all good. Awesome. So after about 30 seconds, we should be able to reconnect. So I might just restart my session here with um, with Putty. There we go. We're back in. I'm going to go back as sudo again. And sorry, sudo su dash. There we go. Now we need to change our port. So we are going to change our port. Vchange this port to 2083 because 2083 is allowed on Cloudflare. The default uh, 8083 is not allowed on Cloudflare. So we'll change it to 2083. And sure enough, this should work. Cool, that looks like it's okay. Now, while we're talking about ports, the, the ports that we're gonna to need to open in Oracle's firewall are right here. So these are the lists. You can get them on my blog, obviously. They're separated by commas, so we can just copy them into our, um, our virtual cloud network here. So in our instance, we go to virtual cloud network there. Then under subnet there, go to your default security list, and we wanna add ingress rules. So this is where we're gonna put our destination ports. So that's the list of ports that we are gonna use for this server. So, and then our source CIDR is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. So TCP is okay. And description, I'll just put Hestia and let's add the ingress rules there. So that looks all good. We should have port 22 already by default. And now we've got all our ports that we need to finish this project. At this point, it should actually be possible to connect to our Hestia panel now. So if we copy our IP address onto a new tab here, I'm going to go to our IP address, colon 2083. That's our new Hestia port. We're going to get an SSL warning here. Let's go through advanced and proceed to our actual Hestia panel. That looks all good. Password's going to be admin. I mean, username's going to be admin. Password is going to be whatever we use when we installed Hestia. So my password was this guy here. So make sure you have kept that safe. I'm going to copy that in. There we go. Now what I'd like to do is actually install the Cloudflare SSL 
on this service. So if we go to actual um, the gear icon there, we click configure and you'll find SSL here. Now these certificates, we're gonna replace these with Cloudflare certificates. So to do that, we go into our Cloudflare dash, we are under SSL, we go to origin server here and we create a certificate and click create there. Oh, this is on default. You'll notice that that certificate is valid for 15 years, so that's very long. You don't have to worry about um, automatic renewals every 90 days or anything like that. That's um, gonna be valid for a long time. So I'm gonna copy this certificate here and delete out that one in Hestia, replace it with the Cloudflare one. Again, private key, same thing. Replace that private key with our Cloudflare one. We're gonna save that in. Now, hopefully this all goes through okay. I noticed that the page doesn't always reload properly when that, when you try this step. So go ahead and click reload again here and click continue and advance, go through that SSL warning again. Hopefully we get the proper page loading up now. It's just a little weird thing that happens when you do that step. There, yeah, changes have been saved, so that looks fine. So now rather than using this IP address to access that panel, we can make a new tab here and go to HCP idea spot site on port 2083 and we should get our, our Cloudflare certificate working here. So if I look at this connection is secure there, certificate is valid and that's a Cloudflare certificate. So that's cool. Using Cloudflare certificates gives you a little bit more performance and a little bit more security using that Cloudflare proxy as well. So it's nice to have all that set up properly. We're gonna log in as admin here again and we can use that password again. Same password as when we installed Hestia, obviously. There we go. We can start adding websites now. So go ahead and add a website here. Click web, add a web domain here. And we have to add a default user. So add a user here. I'm gonna call mine Alex. Uh, there we go. So just fill that out. Username, name, email, strong password. The rest of that can be default. Save that in. Awesome, now we can actually log in as our new user. So I'll log in as Alex there. We can see I'm logged in as Alex. I can add a web domain now. And in my case, I'm gonna be adding ideaspot.site and save that in. That looks all good. We can go back. We can see that we don't have SSL installed. So we can actually go to our edit settings here and we can enable SSL. This is where we put our Cloudflare certificate in again. So again, grab that certificate and grab that key. There we go, save that in. So that looks all good. We can probably access Ideaspot site now. Ideaspot site. And there we go. We've got our construction page ready here. This should be a Cloudflare certificate again. Um, looks all good, awesome. Um, from here, you can basically install apps as well. So go ahead and install WordPress or Drupal or Nextcloud or whatever you're interested in and have fun. Now, the next step for mail, um, let's go to mail here. We can add a mail domain as well. Um, let's go ahead and add that on, Ideaspot site and add that on. Now, if we go to our mail domain here, we can go ahead and select the edit pencil there. We can enable S. SL now. Uh, in this case, we want to use Let's Encrypt because we're not um, proxying uh, through Cloudflare here and it's not possible to proxy the email in the free plan of uh, Cloudflare, unfortunately. So we can use Let's Encrypt instead. That's going to be fine. We can actually save that. Now make sure that um, you've obviously got those uh, DNS records set up before you do this. So make sure you've got your um, mail and webmail on there, DNS only pointing to your IP address before you try that step. So uh, this does take a second uh, to issue that SSL. So it'll be ticking away. Let's encrypt does take a little while, but that does look okay. So we can actually go back here and now we can uh, go ahead and add an email account as well. So yeah, uh, name, strong password, and that is going to be Alex at Ideaspot site. All your uh, email hosting details are here as well in case you want to use IMAP. Um, but let's go ahead. And the webmail URL is going to be there as well. So let's save that in. So that looks all good. We've got a mail account, Alex at Ideaspot site. The other thing you should really do is use an SMTP relay. So back on mail, um, let's go to our settings here and Let's use the SMTP relay. So we're gonna put the host port, username and password. I've done this in the previous Hestia tutorial I did, so go ahead and check that one. I'll put that in the description as well. 
But basically, I like to use uh, Send in Blue to do this. This is uh, free to use. You can do up to 300 emails a day uh, on the free tier there. And um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to sign up to Send in Blue. But um, all you need is your settings from um, SMTP and API in your dashboard of Send in Blue. So I'll just go ahead and copy these into our Hestia dashboard. So that's the host. So just fill that in. Um, yeah, the details are there and your password is that big long key thing. Uh, so put all those in and save that in. So that looks all good. Again, that video um, previously was called this one, um, Hestia on Oracle free tier, um, where I do the full uh, Send in Blue setup. So it involves putting all those uh, text records from Send in Blue to actually validate your domain on Send in Blue. But again, you can do that fairly easily. So this looks all good. We can head over to Webmail Ideaspot site now and we see we've got a um, login for our Webmail. We can log in. There we go. And we can go ahead and try composing a message. I'll just send a quick message through to Gmail. So that's arrived in my Gmail just fine here. And we'll try sending one over to our Webmail as well. So Alex, our ideaspot.site, let's try and send one across. And let's go ahead and check in our inbox here. All right, that took about 10 seconds, but we did receive that message just fine from Gmail as well. So this is all working just fine. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think uh, if you want a simpler solution, just use a regular DNS like Namecheap or GoDaddy like I used in the previous video. I'll put the previous video up here as well so you can see the full details about how I configured um, and authenticated the domain on Send in Blue for sending mail. But that's basically all we need.